Hi everyone, this is Julianne Victoria, and in this video I'm going to show side by side two decks, both of them called, if I can get this in the frame, the Minoan Tarot. Okay, so why do I have two decks called the Minoan Tarot? Exact same name. So I first bought this deck, the one on the left, the Minoan Tarot, um, by Ellen Lorenzi Prince. Um, because the Minoan Tarot had been like on my mind for a while. Um, and some of you may know, um, I studied classics in college. That's what's my, what my first degree was in. Um, so it'd been on my mind to get, because I thought, oh, that would be great art to have for a tarot deck. So I bought this one and I had read on her website that she had, I believe she had lived in Greece, lived in the area where the Minoans had lived, um, really studied the art. And I really liked that. So I bought this one. And then one day, like that same week, I was looking on my Amazon wish list and I was like, oh, the Minoan Tarot, I had put that on my wish list. And I realized it's a different Minoan Tarot. This one is by Laura Perry. This one is published by Schiffer. It comes with a large full-sized guidebook. And I decided to get it so I could compare the two. Now this one, the Schiffer one, um, the creator, she says in the, in the book, um, actually I can open that page for you, that she loved Minoan art and she was wishing for hands-on tool to work with Minoan spirituality. One day I glanced at the photograph of frescoes inspiration and she thought she would make a tarot deck with it. So two different approaches to making these two Minoan tarots. The Ellen Lorenzi Prince one was published first, I believe it was 20, 2014. So she came out with hers first and Laura Perry's The Schiffer one came out in, I can get it on the screen here, 2016. Okay, so let's walk through the two decks. Let me move the books out of the way. Now they are both larger size decks. So the Schiffer one, so I'm just laying a standard tarot deck, tarot sized card on it, is slightly bigger. It does not have rounded edges. They're square cut, I think to give it that older feel. And the Ellen Lorenzi Prince one is quite large, much bigger. So very tall, skinny cards. Okay, so let's flip them over. I apologize for all the gardening cuts and scabs on my hands. It's that time of year, a lot of harvesting in the dirt. Okay, so let's compare the two. So we have the Fool. In this deck, it's called the Lily Prince. In this deck, it's zero, numbered zero or 22, which some much very old decks will have the Fool is 22. Oh, and the backs both have the labrys or labrysies, the two-headed axe. The, what would be the magician. So the priestess. So the Minoan culture is very, very much more goddess-based. Um, so there's a lot of emphasis on the goddess and the priestess in these decks. So the priestess or the high priest. So let me flip these this way the high priestess or the oracle, the goddess, the empress, the god or the emperor. So the Hierophant is either singer or the adept, the lovers, the chariot, balance. So I, I adjusted the numbers here obviously so we could see them side by side. So in the Ellen Lorenzi Prince one um, it's RWS where justice or balance is actually 11 and in the Schiffer deck it's Thoth, Thoth based where justice is number eight. So the hermit is the visionary or the labyrinth which I like that. The wheel of life or fate strength, the hanging woman 
or sacrifice, ancestor or death. I think it, is it the Wildwood that also has Ancestor in this position? You'll have to correct me on that. So Temperance is Flow or Balance. The Devil, Ecstasy or the Minotaur. The Tower or the Shipwreck. The Star. The Moon. The sun, judgment or transcendence, and the world or the wor world tree. Okay, so the miners, of course, have been slightly renamed. So we're starting with the earth element or pentacles in a traditional deck. So I'll just flip through. The Ellen Lorenzi Prince one is very animal based. Okay, so then when we get to the court cards, um, the Schiffer deck has six court cards, and of course both have different names. So in Ellen Lorenzi Prince's deck, uh, we have the Worker for Page, or Youth in the Schiffer deck. Then we have Priestess and Maid. So the because it's more feminine and goddess-based culture, the the feminine court cards rank higher. So then we have Priestess and Maid, Master and Lord, Mistress and Lady. And then in this deck, we have Priest and Priestess. Okay, so then we move on to the element of Water or Cups. So we have Sea in this deck and Rutons, the, um, the, the, uh, the pictures. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word there. I'll just flip through these quickly so you can feel for them. And one thing to note in this deck is, you know, it's C4, but there's three fish. So the number of animals in the card is not necessarily correlating to the number on the card. And then we have our court cards, so worker and youth, priestess and maid, master and lord, mistress and lady, and then our priest and our priestess. And then for fire or wands, we have art, so tapping into that creative, passionate energy of fire and wands. And in the Schiffer deck, we have the Labrises, or the, the two-headed axe. And you can see in this deck, this suit is not animal-based, it's human-based. So lastly, for the swords or air suit, we have Sky in the Ellen Lorenzi Prince deck. And then not to get confused, where we have the Ace of Daggers. I was gonna say for the Labrises, because they're sharp edges, that's not to be confused with the sword. That is the wands. Okay. And we're back to animal theme. So air animals, 
And you can see how the Schiffer deck is very pippish. Okay, so those are two decks called the Minoan Tarot, the Schiffer deck, and the Ellen Lorenzi Prince deck. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here soon.